Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. Welcome to my home. If you are new here, I just wanted to say hi and welcome you. And if you are coming back to visit me again, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. So as you see, we are still slowly taking down Christmas in our home. We were very blessed with lots of free decor, but with that comes a storage issue, especially being in an older home, we don't have a lot of storage space. So we are slowly trying to figure out where to put all the extra decor that we were very grateful for and blessed with. It's a slow process, but I am ready to finish taking it all down and cleaning my home and preparing it for all the seasons to come this year. I'm so excited. I have so much content that I can't wait to share with you guys and take you along with me as I do some DIYs and decorating for the different seasons. I'm going to head to Hobby Lobby. They have their 40% off a sale for Valentine's and spring decor. So the next holidays that I'd like to decorate my home for is Mardi Gras and Valentine's. So some rooms I'm gonna decorate for Mardi Gras and others I'm going to decorate for Valentine's Day because I wanna give you all content and I know not all of you celebrate the Mardi Gras season. So I wanna give you guys value and content. So I hope that you'll get some decorating ideas for Mardi Gras, but then some ideas for Valentine's. If that is a holiday that you decorate for. We're gonna go see what they have out there today at Hobby Lobby. Without further ado, let's get to shopping. So we're here at Hobby Lobby and I got a couple of gift cards for Christmas. So let's go shopping. As you see right now, the Valentine's decor is 40% off and I did spot some spring decor also 40% off, but right now I'm just going to be focusing mainly on Valentine's, but I promise I will give you some sneak peeks of their Easter and spring decor because I can't help but peek down those aisles. <laughs> They're right here guys, so it's hard, but I'm going to stay focused and just see what I can add to my Valentine's Day decorating this year. I see a lot of things from last year and some new, so I'm excited to browse and see what all they have. As you see, they have lots and lots of little tiny little decors like these risers and little wooden signs. And then they also have these really cute smaller um, little hearts. And then these are so cute. Look how adorable these are. So not a bad price for 40 percent off and they look like the little valentine old cards that we used to pass out um, in our classrooms i don't even know if they still do that but that was always so fun i think this pink xoxo little decor with the arrow going through it is super cute and then this caught my eye possibly for my daughter's room it's like a really pretty shimmery uh, blush heart and then i also see that they have a red one as well I also saw these really cute little boy and girl Valentine bears. My mom actually had a teddy bear room when we um, moved out and she had a spare room and I always thought that room was so adorable. And then I also thought this cute love sign that lit up was also adorable. I tried to show you guys how it lit up, but none of them worked. So I'm sure a lot of people have been testing them out. So sorry about that but I'm sure it's really cute lit up. And then I saw these, I love these. This is so cute. It just reminds me um, so much of spring. And if you're into the gnomes, I'm sure you saw those right here. They had a big collection and these cute little wooden houses as well. On this shelf, I know I bought one of these last year and I loved it. So I wanted to get another one, but I'm trying to remember which uh, little boy and girl scene that I got. So I'm hopefully getting a different one from last year so hopefully i'm choosing a different one and i wanted to show you guys how adorable are these little kissing booths and i did get this little pink xoxo sign they have the red black and pink options and i'm just trying to get the price and i think i got it for 40 or 50 percent off last year as well over here they have lots of red options like this cute little cupid's way little tin sign that would be absolutely adorable in a little coffee cocoa or treat bore station for valentine's and then i love those little bubble love signs and this cute little valentine light up ceramic house is also precious to decorate for Valentine's Day. And how adorable is this little cute wooden ticket? And this cute little bird also caught my eye. It has the little hearts on the sides. It can be used for Valentine's. And then it can also go into your spring decor as well. Mm -hmm. 
they have a lot of light up options this year they have these cute little light up pink and red hearts If you like me, I always appreciate these little charts that Hobby Lobby puts throughout the store for their reduced discount prices. Other than 50% off, I hate to have to do mental math when I'm shopping. So those little charts are always so handy. They have a great selection of tablecloths, but I quickly wanted to show you these two heart options. There's two of them that's linked together. They have the darker wood option and then the lighter one. And then I also thought this little cutting board was cute. I like how they have the little heart detail on it. I thought they also had a really cute selection of drawing mat options for Valentine's and then these cute pillow covers. Hobby Lobby also always has a wide variety of paper and little plastic options for holiday parties. And I think they have the cutest selections for something like a treat bar, like these cute little um, pink and white little glass jars. And then they also have these that have the little dividers to put either flowers or straws in them. And they always have just the cutest selection. So I love to browse right here to see what we can use from a season to season throughout our kitchen and our little coffee and cocoa stations. For each holiday, I think that Hobby Lobby gives us lots of options for kitchen towels and tablescape options like placemats, table runners, chargers, all the things to make beautiful tablescapes. They have these cute love signs with two options of either the red or the pink heart uh, ones. And then they always have these cute tin hearts. This one has the black and white buffalo check, but they also have the red and white. And then this one has the little love and a black arrow on it. They have these beautiful beaded natural and red hearts again this year. And then they also have, I don't remember this one last year, so I'm not sure if it's new, but I think this one's so pretty. It's a deep uh, burgundy color. And then they have these that have the pink and white and then the red and white options that says Happy Valentine's Day. Also thought those were really precious. And then if you are into gnomes, they have no shortage of known options here at Hobby Lobby. Now let's browse around and see the really cute collection of signs on this side. And then they also have some more really cute heart options as well.
Also thought this little love banner was cute. This one has the white with the red in the center, and then they had the red with the white heart in the center, and then they had lots of little pink and red filler options. At the bottom, they had this pink and white picks, and I think I saw some red ones, so we'll keep an eye out for those. And then how cute are these little mailboxes? I think this would be a wonderful craft to do with kids or grandkids, just to decorate and make a little Valentine's Day mailbox to put some Valentine cards in. I also love these little vintage Valentine ornaments. I wish they would have more of them, but the ones that they do have, I think are so cute. Also have this little kissing booth, little sign, and then lots of ornament options if you decorate a Christmas tree for the Valentine season, like these little tin pink, red, and white harp option ones. And then these I thought were really cute right here with the beads. They have two different styles of these. I love us, and then you are loved. And then these are little tablets with the pink and the red. This kiss one's cute, and I absolutely love these heart ones. I had bought some of these last year. I think these little ladders are really cute and then they have lots and lots of long and short bead options. Here at Hobby Lobby, I love to browse their garland sections right here for Valentine's. So they have wooden bead ones and felt ones and their Valentine selection did not disappoint. Over here, they have some more banner options like this mini felt banner. These are adorable. They have the pink and the red ones to choose from. And then they also have these really cute ones. It says, Be Mine. And they have the hot and light pink uh, together. And then they have all these options over here. Just some little mini red hearts. Again, for tree decor or just hanging them in different places. And then some premium garden flag options as well as lots and lots of little string lights. They have the red and the pink uh, battery operated ones. And then over here, they have a good selection for Valentine ribbon.
they have lots and lots of craft options and i thought these hearts would be really cute uh, made into ornaments it would be really inexpensive and they also have these cute wooden ones that come two to a pack and then they have these larger wooden hearts that you can do some really cute diys with i love these diy wreath options that they have like this beautiful one right here and then they have down here one that you can add your own tool or ribbon to and diy your own wreath and then they have this cute a grapevine heart one as well Can't believe i almost missed these a sweet lady that i met down this aisle uh, showed me them so i'm so glad that i ran into her and they have these really cute uh, hearts right here they're made out of yarn and they have the white pink and red options and these would make great a bowl and vessel fillers as well as some great diy projects you can do with them like making your own diy banner and then down here, I have these little picks that I bought last year. They have these red and white options as well as the pink and white options. I also loved this little pick right here. It's wooden and they have some really cute options down here as well. Just like the little sweetheart candies, lots to choose from down here. And these are also really cute, sticking them in arrangements throughout your home for Valentine's. And then they have these cute little mini flags as well. Also wanted to show you guys, look how cute these little felt letters are for Valentine's. They have the white, pink, and red ones inside the little bag. And these would make really cute DIYs. And y'all, I thought these were so cute. The, their little felt uh, picks. This one has Hug Me. They have the pink and red that says Love. And then the XOXO, which is red and white. And then they also had uh, some cute wooden options down here. These would be really cute displayed in vases or just tucked into arrangements or bouquets. They only had a few options for some sprigs right here. Uh, they did have the red, some white, and some pink, though, options. And then I only saw this one Valentine's throw, and that was about it at my store. So hopefully you'll have better luck at yours, maybe more options. But they did have uh, some really cute options for doormats. I wanted to show you these adorable little shag rugs. I think they're so cute. They have this light pink heart shaped one and then they have this white option as well. And then at the top right here, they have these cute little plush uh, pillows. They have this pink heart option and then they also have a red one. I always like to check out Hobby Lobby's little food and treat section. So I noticed these cute cookie hearts. They were a dollar. They have the lips and a whole bunch of different uh, heart shape options. And then I'm just going to browse around and see what else they have to see if I can spot anything to use on our Valentine's treat bar. I thought about getting this, this little fondue mini set. That would be really cute to put at the treat bar, but I don't think I have enough space. So I'm going to leave it here. But we're going to check out the clearance section over here before we head out the store. And I was really surprised to see a couple of Valentine's decor here in the clearance section.
So before we leave Hobby Lobby, I just wanted to give us a sneak peek down the Easter and spring aisles. I spotted the most adorable little peeps. I guess that's what you would call them, little bunnies, as you can see. They are the most cutest things, and they have lots of pastel colors. And then they also have some egg um, ones over here. And I couldn't help but notice all the beautiful colors that they had. And I see a lot of things that they offered last year and then some new things. So I'm excited to just take a peek and see what they have. So I like to try to stay in the season that we're in. That's something I'm really trying to do right now. Just be in the moment and enjoy the season that we're in. So I'm trying not to think too much ahead. But I do like to get a glimpse of what they're going to be offering. Just so I can start coming up with decor and ideas to help you guys out. And I hope that this little sneak peek also gets you excited for the upcoming spring season. Okay guys, well we are back from shopping at Hobby Lobby. It is dark now, so I apologize for the video being dark without any sunlight. But I wanted to jump right into the haul and show you guys what we got to decorate for my upcoming Valentine series. I chose this one. I thought this one was so cute. It was $5.99 this year, so it was a little bit more a pricey but their valentine decor was 40 percent off so i had one last year and i wanted to get another one i'm hoping that this one is different than the one i had gotten last year if not i can always go exchange it out if needed so i will be decorating a valentine's tree in our family room because in that room i'll be doing a valentine's theme so i'm just going to keep up the tree that's in there and transition it into valentine's so i decided to pick a few more of these ornaments up they were $2.49. I got some last year, but I wanted to add to my collection. So I only got two of those. Next thing I got, I think this was new this year, was this little uh, love. It's like the bubble letter. So I thought that was really cute. And this was $4.99 at 40% off. So I'm thinking of using this on our treat bar. So the next thing I got were these adorable little felt picks. I got two of these hug me ones and then I got one of these that said XOXO and I think I said this in the video I plan on adding these in a little vase or adding them to an arrangement so I thought these would be really cute just to incorporate throughout the room so the next thing I got were these adorable little hearts they were five dollars and ninety nine cents and I went ahead and got the little white ones hopefully the camera is picking it up they actually have like the little yarn so it's like i'll take one out so that you can see um, how cute they are they they're just really simple to make you could diy these so easily but they're just wrapped in a really soft fluffy yarn and then they had the pink, the red, and the white, but I went ahead and got the white. I'm either gonna use it as bowl fillers or I may make a little garland for my daughter's room. I haven't decided yet, but I did get that, and those were $5.99. Again, 40%. Next thing I got were these little craft hearts. They were $1.99, 40% off, so I couldn't pass those up, but I loved how they have, they were red and then white. But I like how they have the little uh, zigzag in them. So they make them kind of unique than just plain. So I'm gonna use these as ornaments for our Valentine's tree. And they come in a pack of 24. So I knew that this would fill up the tree nicely. So the next thing I got was this little kissing booth. It was $5.99. I thought it was a little pricey, but it was 40% off and I'm gonna add it to our Valentine's decoration in our guest bathroom. And I think the colors will match really well in there. So the next thing I got was also for the cocoa bar and it's this cute sign with $7.99 but not including the sale. And I knew it would be really cute to be added to Valentine's treat bar. So the next thing I got was another little adorable sign. I got one last year and these were $6.49, but I wanted to get another one to add to the room because I just thought these were so sweet. So it'd be really cute to add to the room. And then I thought this was absolutely adorable. It was that little mini felt uh, banner, and this was 
40% off. So just keep in mind that everything that I'm giving you is the full price and not the discounted 40% off price. And they had this uh, pink one and then they had another one in red, but I'm thinking I'm going to add this to our guest uh, bathroom. Next thing I got was this cute sign. This was $9.99. And the last two things I was so glad I went to that clearance section that I told you guys about it was 75% off and then they just had um, some reduced sticker prices so I found these two cute little lanterns and they have the hearts they were $1.99 and I just thought those are so sweet for Valentine's and then the last thing that I found at that discounted area but I'm sure I'm gonna be able to find a place for it because I think it's so beautiful so that is it friends that is our hobby lobby haul we have a few more shopping trips to do together so if you love decorating and diys so if that is something that you would like seeing please consider liking and subscribing to my channel it's absolutely free and hit that notification bell Be sure to come back and visit my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos where we're going to use this haul and start decorating Little House on Metairie. So until next time, friends, bye for now.